Good morning guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be another vlog. I'm sorry for the appearance. I just woke up a few minutes ago and I didn't even bother to get ready anymore because honestly for this video, I just wanted to be casual and I wanted to just be a chill kind of vlog. So yeah, this is what we're working with for today. Obviously, I'm gonna try to fix my hair later, but yeah, I didn't really get ready or anything and I just put some lip tint on my lips because I was looking really pale a while ago and kind of scary so I had to like apply some lip tint. But yeah, for today's video, it's gonna be another self-care vlog because the last one that I did was about a year ago and in that video, I told you guys that I'm gonna try to make self-care Sundays a regular thing but it's been a year and this is the next update from that video and it's also a Sunday today so I thought why not film it today and yeah that's basically what we're gonna be doing for this video. Of course this wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't include Lychee in it. It was her birthday yesterday but she just turned two. I love showing you her in... I can't speak. I love showing you I love showing you guys lychee in my vlogs. Wow, I can't speak. She actually knows how to high five, so lychee, high five. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. I gave her a doggy cupcake yesterday and she was so happy about it. So kakatapos ko lang mag-lunch and nag-lunch na ako kasi medyo late na. It's around 11, ay, 12, 12, 13 p.m. And what I had for lunch was vegetable dumplings and beans. That made me so nostalgic kasi yun talaga yung go-to baon ko nung high school ako. As in, yun talaga yung kinakain ko lagi sa school. I want to update my planner and this is my planner. It's so cute. It says a lot can happen in a year. I've been using my phone as a planner recently and I've just been typing my to-do stuff on my notes app. So yeah, I'm just gonna be transferring some of the entries from here to my planner. The book that I want to reread today is Your Illustrated Guide to Becoming One with the Universe. This is by Yumi Sakugawa and this is such a good book. I got this back when I was around 15 years old and it looks like this. It just has a bunch of illustrations and I love this so much because of the message of this book. It just helps you find inner peace and it just helps you stay grounded and stay connected with the universe and to just realize that there is this whole big world in front of us and all of these things that we have yet to see and things that we have yet to experience. Yeah, I wanna just, you know, ground myself again. So I just hopped out of the shower a few minutes ago. As you guys can see, my hair is still a little bit wet. But yeah, I decided to get ready a little bit. I just put on some lip tint and konting mascara lang para medyo fresh patignan. And yeah, while waiting for my hair to dry, I just wanted to talk about the shampoo that I used earlier. So I used the Clear Botanic Scalp Care Shampoo and it's right there behind me and you guys. This has been my favorite shampoo recently. 
And even my mom loves this so much. Like, nung naamoy niya, sabi niya sobrang bango daw and sobrang fresh and it smells like a spa. And yeah, this is the Clear Botanics Scalp Care Shampoo. I love this so much because it has five essential oils which keeps your scalp nourished and healthy. And the five essential oils in this are lavender, rosemary, bergamot, grapefruit, and tea tree essential oils, which helps nourish dry scalp. It's 100% infused with natural botanical extracts, which keeps my hair dandruff free and healthy and clean and also smelling really, really good. This shampoo is a good alternative for now for you guys who miss your spas and miss your spa days. Dates, you guys should definitely look into trying this out. You guys will not be disappointed. To me, self-care days don't only mean targeting the physical aspect but also the mental and well-being aspect as well. I think that a lot of people don't really realize that. I actually went on Instagram earlier today and posted a story telling you guys to ask me some questions. Yeah, I love these kinds of sit-down conversational videos because I feel like I get to connect with you guys more. And I actually have a candle with me here. This is a lavender and rosemary aroma candle and Clear also gave this to me. And this smells so good, you guys. Like this, mixed with this shampoo, the scent is just so good. Uh, I hope I don't burn my hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there so that it smells really good here. So yeah, I'm gonna go on Instagram right now and check the questions that you guys sent. For four months into the quarantine, what would you have done differently? Okay, so this is a good question and it's so weird that we're four months into the quarantine already but I don't think I would have done anything different. I, I mean, there are days where I wish that I could have done more and I wish I was more productive but I feel like looking back at it now, those days were essential for me to be able to recollect and be able to just gather myself and rest throughout the days. So yeah, I don't think I would have done anything differently. How do you save money? Okay, this is a good question. The way that I like to save money is I like to create a mental 80 to 20 ratio on my mind. So 80% of whatever money I make or whatever earnings I get, I save. And 20% is what I use to just treat myself. How do you handle situations where you don't get what you want? Like it could be stuff, attitude, etc. Honestly, I think I'm a pretty chill person. If things don't go my way, then it's whatever if you know you could do something to better the situation then why not right if there is something that you can do to control it then why not but if the situation is uncontrollable then just let it be and relax how to stop dwelling on the past how to accept your ugly past physically and mentally I feel like your past is what led you to being where you are today and I feel like you should embrace it and be proud of it, be proud of where you came from and be proud of the struggles you went through in order to be able to be where you are right now at this point in time. So. I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. Okay, so I'm gonna answer one last question. What to do when we're distracted in reaching our goals in life? I feel like the best thing to do is to... Uh, Remind yourself why you want to do these things and remind yourself why you want to achieve those things. And yeah, something that has always been important for me to remind myself is to align my passions with my career. And I do not ever, ever want to have a job in the future where I don't enjoy it. I don't want to have a job where I'm not passionate enough. And yeah, I just don't want to put myself in that position and I think the best way that I can do that is by starting early and by working hard. Yeah, I feel like that is the best way to align yourself back to your goals and align yourself back to your intentions on why you want to do things and achieve things. And I feel like that is just the best source of motivation is knowing that it will all pay off in the future and pay off in the long run. So yeah, I feel like that is the best way to just... What was the question? <laughs> best way to just... Yeah best way to just stay focused and keep in track so yeah those are all of the questions that i'm gonna be answering for today's mini q a talk and i hope you guys got something out of this i hope you guys enjoyed this little segment part of the video anyways yeah that was basically it for our little mini tub talk so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I want to meditate. I feel like it's just one of the activities that bring me so much peace and so much calmness. And I usually just do a five to 10 minute one depending on how busy I am and how my day's like, but today I think I'm gonna do a 10 one, so yeah.
So Chacha -cha got sent a bunch of milk tea for me and my family and I don't know about you guys but milk tea is self-care to me and this is usually a treat that I like to get whenever I have a self-care day or whenever I want to treat myself and if you guys didn't know, I really a milk tea tao. I like fruit teas more so this one is the California mixed fruit tea size large pero pag kumukuha ako ng milk tea mahilig ako sa taro or sa taro or matcha and this one is the taro one and I also have taro with milk and pearls and winter melon milk tea a classic and there's actually two more drinks, but my sisters drank them already. This isn't sponsored, by the way. They just wanted to send me some drinks, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm really excited to drink this, and I'm excited to share this with my family. If milk tea doesn't equal self-care to you, or if food isn't a part of your self-care day, then... So I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day doing some homework and submitting my homeworks because unfortunately even if this is a self-care day, I still have to submit and do my homework. I hope you picked up a thing or two in this video that you could carry with you and hold with you and I hope that this inspires you to take a self-care day and to just take a day off and relax. That was basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye guys!